Hit Object Guru here, joined by... The Gun Wrangler. And we're playing some Destiny 2. We were supposed to be co oping some Destiny 2, but it turns out if I'm not far enough in the game, like I have to really reach a certain point in the game before I can uh, be invited to his co op missions. Because you're already max level, right? I am. Which but... uh, is, is 20? Yeah. Well, that's with the starting game. Because... Both you and I got this via Humble. We did. And everyone should go out and buy Humble Bundle because, you know, support charity and get an obscenity of games you'll never be able to play. It's it's ridiculous the number of games you get every month. Like, it's it's crazy. Uh, um, yeah, what? I get... Like, beyond that, it you get a ton of games not only <laughs> that you want to play, you've got enough to give away because... Oh, that's true. Yeah, because you're just never going to play that. So what the hell? Give give away your copy of, um, I want to say something about, uh, what what was that game about? Like running a, a restaurant or running a diner? Yeah, this month. This I've month given away... there's a game about running a diner? Yeah. Um, last, or last month or the month before, I actually gave away a copy of... Um... I believe it's uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, or no, no, it's sequel, the... Um... Mankind Divided. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yep. See, there you go. Uh-oh, I, uh, I got ghost bats. So, here's something that, about uh, Bungie, and I'll say this, uh, I, don't, I don't think their storytelling is great, uh, I don't think the way they, um, the way they divide games into just a... Uh, Stuff you're supposed to endlessly replay and get loot-based systems. I, I don't like any of that nonsense. But, there is nobody like that is more of a master of controls and handling than they are. Like, they make games that look great, that feel great when you shoot weapons. You know? Like, they make games with worlds full of weird-looking monsters, and when you, when you shoot your guns at them, it just feels unbelievably satisfying. And I don't think anybody can match them on that front. I definitely do agree with this. Yeah, it's, it's just gorgeous, this thing. Like, it looks fantastic. I mean, I don't even have everything turned up to maximum, because I don't have one of those 1080 cards. But it still looks fantastic. It looks better. It's, it looks considerably better than Destiny 1 did on my PlayStation 4. Or maybe I played it on the Xbox One. But the point is, uh, like even on my PC, which isn't the best PC, this thing looks stellar, runs like a dream. Like Nobody's better at optimization than these guys. And just gameplay design. Oh, they're incredible. And I just wish they wouldn't waste their time with this uh, massively multiplayer nonsense and would just go back to making games. And then if you want to have multiplayer maps, fine. But, you know, just, just make a game. And I play the game for 10 hours, and then I'm done the game, and if I want to play multiplayer, fine. But this idea that you have to come back to the same maps over and over and over again to unlock guns and whatnot, just seems crazy to me. Like, I can understand the appeal of the grind, but that's because, I mean, I'm a former World of Warcraft player, so... Right, okay, so you, you were on board for Blizzard already. <laughs> Yes, I've already I've been whoring myself out to Blizzard for some time now. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, uh, like I, it started with Diablo. Oh, Diablo just went is down. Best. Yeah, just went downhill from there. No, I I still remember the first Diablo quite fondly. That was an amazing game, right? It's just uh, going through that dungeon, finding that uh, finding that secret secret portal. Like, and this is back in the days before I had access to, you know, well, I mean, I, there were, there were websites, but I wasn't active on the internet. So I had to have someone tell me that if you go to here and you do this thing, you're going to end up in a secret level full of angry cows. I'm like, what? So I did that and I ended up in a secret level full of angry cows. And yes. yeah, Diablo, I will always remember, remember you fondly, if only for that scene. Well, there's always like. The Warcraft games were pretty good. Oh, and yeah. Then... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, although, um, Warcraft, uh, it is weird that uh, 
as as a kid, I was playing Warcraft and Warcraft Two, and even though I was already extensively like completely familiar with Warhammer, it didn't occur to me that it was a ripoff of Warhammer. That whole time I was playing it, it's not until Warcraft Three came out that I'm like, oh, this is obviously Warhammer. Okay, that's fine. It isn't just. It isn't just, like, a coincidence. This is obviously they're ripping off Warhammer, which is good. I mean, especially because, uh... And I just love the story is, um... And it, the story kind of blew me away, which is they cut a deal with Games Designers Workshop to make uh, a Warhammer, you know, st uh, a Dune 2-style Warhammer uh, real-time strategy game. Yeah. And then halfway through production... Warhammer was like, actually, screw it. We're going to make our own games. Uh, we're backing out of the deal. And uh, and they were like, well, that's no reason. You don't own orcs. You don't own elves. There's no reason we can't finish making this game. So they did, and they just changed the name. And then th when they made... Uh, when they, uh, they were still so angry about that, you know, Warhammer kind of screwing them on that deal that when it came time to make their Outer Space game... They made StarCraft far more obviously a ripoff of Warhammer 40,000 yeah. than War <laughs> Warcraft was of regular uh, Warhammer. And I'm like, yeah, we're still angry about this, so let's just obviously rip these this, guys This is off. like a 25-year vendetta. <laughs> it is! And I was kind of blown away by how obvious it was. And I'm like, oh, those are obviously just gene stealers. Like, it could not be more obvious. Those are obviously just Eldar, you know? Like, the only thing they didn't do was add Titans. Although, I mean, I would have loved it if they'd added Titans, but uh, I can understand why they weren't going to add Titans. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, they even had, like, suits of power armor. They had similar tanks. They had space elves. Like, it was 100% clear what they were doing. And I kind of loved them for it. I kind of loved that bitterness. So yeah, uh, my, like, it, I, I doff my cap to thee, guys. But you were saying? Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's totally obvious, but it's still utterly delightful. Oh, God, totally, yes. No, it is It is a delight. Oh, I get it. So I have a slug thrower weapon, I have an energy weapon, and I have a power weapon. That's what it meant by getting your, um, by shooting the correct shield color. So they'll have blue shields or they'll have orange shields, and that tells me if it's weak against energy or power weapons gotcha okay there you go they, honestly the tutorial did not do a great job at running me through this although someone else was playing the tutorial at the same time as me so we actually got to help each other out in a fight and that was i will admit as skeptical as i am about this massively multiplayer online always online nonsense that was nice i don't know how i feel about it still i'm yeah. really on the fence because yeah, sure. I, as I said previously, I am a recovering World of Warcraft addict. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, I can understand how that would trigger some stuff for you. Like, I played Warcraft 32 hours a day while in the military. Or sorry, 32 hours a week while in the military. There, I was about to be like, I feel like the military wasn't inventing new hours for you to... Uh... Oh, they, they did their best. They did their <laughs> damn best to try. But, um... Uh, if only the military could find those twenty fifth at uh, the twenty fifth hour that Spike Lee was talking about, then they could get those trenches dug. Oh my God! Don't. <laughs> okay, I won't bring it up. I'm, I'm triggered. I'm you. triggered. Okay. The right, trenches. Right. Oh my God! I was uh, in me for digging them in spring, <laughs> just like ankle deep in mud yeah. and misery. I, I was gonna guess that you were wa <clears throat> uh, waist deep in water, so I wasn't far off. There you go. Oh, no, it didn't get that way until we dug down about six feet. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, um, but yeah, so, so I get it. That is, that is pretty impressive, though, finding that amount of time to play Warcraft. Oh, I just stopped on sleeping. Assignment. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Sleep's overrated anyhow. But, uh, no. you know what? You're in your 20s. Sleep, you can sleep when you're 40, is I think the way the, uh, the way it goes, right? You catch yeah. up on that sleep later. Oh man, but yeah, so we um we've been gone for a couple of weeks uh because you traveled and then I got busy uh doing all of this content about the game Vampire. But we're back, which means we're ready to talk more Expanse, which has been well, 
uh, yeah, and it's back. I mean, they're getting another year, which is fantastic. Uh, oh. may, maybe more than one year. Who can say? I guess we'll see how it goes when it gets to Amazon. Although, well, given Am- the fact that Jeff Bezos himself was like, I love this show. Oh, and I'm I have unlimited it. money, so, you know. <laughs> I have more money than God. Yeah, I have unlimited money. I love this show. Let's just keep the show going. Like, who can, you know what, Bezos? I may not like your labor practices, but way to go. Uh, you, you, you give me stuff I like. You give me the tick. You give me counterpart. Now you're giving me more uh, of my beloved expanse. And I know that these are the breads and circuses that you bribe me with t- so you can take over the world. Like, I understand how Rome operates, but I, that doesn't mean I'm not going to enjoy the breads and circuses. Yep. Yeah. It's well, like, I, I would be a fool him and to. Elon Musk, like, James Bond I know. was right. Yeah, James They're... Bond was right about, you know, the operation of supervillains. And that we, the public, would be largely fine with them. Yeah, although I guess cool. Rupert Murdoch already proved that. Uh, uh, one of the guy, one of the few people to have been depicted as a Bond villain, uh, who seems pretty okay with it, honestly. <laughs> like, he was the Bond villain in Die Another Day, and he honestly seems to be pretty fine with the way he was portrayed in that movie, which is kind of weird, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, we're getting Expanse Season 4, so we can all breathe a sigh of relief, because the next three or four episodes of The Expanse aren't going to be the last three or four episodes of The Expanse. I don't know how sci-fi can't figure out how to turn a profit on the best sci-fi show on television since Deep Space Nine slash Babylon 5, but yeah. they can't turn a profit on it, because they don't know what they're doing. There's some sort of weird impairment. <laughs> so like, like yeah. you know we should do we should re- we should ruin Battlestar. <laughs> that's that's how they live though. That's who they are. They just don't know what they're doing. They really don't. Like they are, the sci-fi yeah. network is just garbage at their job. And on the upside, like it's good that they s- largely st- Oh, hey, I got my powers back. Yay. Uh maybe now we'll be able to do strikes. Well, soon. Uh but yeah, it's it's crazy to me because they they have this show. This this thing is frigging golden and they just can't figure out what to do with it. Like they can't market it, they can't uh, they can't get people to watch it. And it's like you got the best show and you don't know what to do with it. Like how are you this bad at this? But the other thing is, quite frankly, they're measuring it using like Nielsen like Nielsen statistics, Nielsen Nielsen, Nielsen rating system, yeah. Which is archaic, would have been fine, yeah, not relevant. Forty years ago, yeah, it's really not relevant because it's like their only thing is advertiser revenue, and I'm like, that's all well and good, but you have so many venues to sell this on now. Figure it out, guys. Seriously, like, if you would just put this up on, I don't know, iTunes, I'm sure. <laughs> I could have bought charging yeah. 50 uh, I, bucks a season. Yeah. Yeah. If you were willing to give us a reasonable price on it. Yeah. Does that mean if you if you say, "Here, give us, you know, 25, 30 bucks for a season of television." I'd be like, "Yep, that's fine by me. Just give me the episodes as they come out. I'll be super happy about it." Uh, 2, 3 bucks an episode, no commercials. There you go. Problem solved. And all the swearing from our Har- Savala that we could handle. Oh, she she does love to swear. It's completely true. Which is uh, actually if, true to the books. She's actually not even as more foul mouthed <laughs> in the books. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, the one thing I gotta say, if I have a complaint about these three episodes, uh, I, it is only that uh, you know not enough of her. She's barely been in them. She's otherwise occupied. Well, no, I she's understand. now the um. She's now the the president of Earth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I know where she is. I know what she's doing. It's just after uh, after such a great amount of her content in the uh, the last season. Well, I call it the last season, the last book. Uh, <laughs> she's yeah. been fantastic, right? Yeah, uh, she's been. She was amazing all season. It's uh, fantastic, and now here, literally, she showed up in the first episode of this new book. 
episode seven, yeah, no, episode seven, to say, uh, hey, we're sending everybody to investigate the ring. Uh, and then yeah, literally we've just ring? heard her on the voice, like doing voiceover since. I'm like, oh, we want you back. Uh, oh, hey, what uh, what kind of character do you play as? I play as a warlock. Okay, I'm playing as a hunter because I assumed that would give me sniper rifle advantages because it's called a hunter. And now they want me to level up marksman's dodge, gambler's dodge. Uh, oh, I can only buy. Oh, I can buy. No, I can only buy one thing now. Okay, I'm like, where should I spend this money? Well, your first level, so we don't give you any options. Oh, okay. Marksman's yeah. dodge, it is. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not complaining. But here we go. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I guess we can talk about the the big news here. The ring. Okay, yes. well, all right. So it's still possible one of my guesses is right. They didn't build a city, and they didn't build a ship, although they kind of built a ship. But that might be a Stargate. I don't know that it is a Stargate, but one of my three guesses about what they were doing could be right. Because they, they're building a ring, and I'm like, that looks like it might be a Stargate. So, Well, remember where the last episode left us. I know. Yeah, they um we uh he went off into the uh he he dove towards the nucleus, which uh that's pretty exciting. Clearly that's you what... don't remember how it ended. Yes, the very end of the very episode is him jumping off the ship towards the nucleus. Okay, I thought it ended with them facing down the torpedo. Yeah, there's been another episode since then. Oh. <laughs> I thought we I thought you had seen all three episodes. Well, I've read the book, so I know. Oh, what's okay, up. so you know what happens. Alright. <laughs> no, the tor the tornado the torpedo was fantastic. I'm not complaining about the torpedo, but uh yeah, it's uh oh good. Now we're open for cooperative play. There we go. Alright, I'll invite nice. you and we'll Oh my god, there's now eight hundred I mean, by the way. <laughs> I kind of love about this game that uh, it's like you do this whole story about how you're the most special, uh, you're the most special guardian Special, of unique all. individual who's the most all unique ever. All of the other ever. guardians got killed. You know, you, you, you got kicked off of a spaceship and you smashed into Earth and you just clawed back to life. And all the other guardians are executed. And then you finish the, the, basic mi the base mission, you walk back to base and it's like, oh, there's 50 other guardians here. Just like you. You understand how your narrative, like your gameplay is getting in the way of your narrative, right? And that wouldn't happen. You know? God damn it. Alright, open the director, view the roster. All right, let's, let's get some co-op going, finally. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, that's so ridiculous. All so, right. the, I actually thought it was just... Uh, yeah. When I went to go in view the episode shall we say yeah um, seven eight uh you watch seven and eight i watch seven eight and nine well if they're jumping towards the nucleus then i know what's up so yeah exactly. again okay yeah. So um, you, you know what you know what's going on uh so but anyway to, to start with those two episodes whoo so first off uh, a lesson i think there's a sub theme on the show which is if you t try to do a crazy thing in space to impress a lady it's going to go work. badly for you. Like, it'll be good for history, but it's never going to go well for you. Because the guy who invented uh, Full Burn, going to space to do something crazy to impress a lady, died of a brain embolism. Uh, uh, archaeologist, going down to find the thing on Venus to uh, impress a lady, well, he ended up getting spaced. Racer, and what about everyone's favorite? The other dude, who's, um, which one? Who, who hit the slow zone face first? That's what I'm saying. Literally, yeah, the, the 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 belter who decided to hit the slow zone going full speed. So right? you know what the slow to zone is? To impress a lady. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that okay. was beautiful. Yeah, it's like and, I, and I was they, actually they, really worried about spoiling that because I think we're actually four. This will be four episodes behind. Uh, no, I don't think so because in this episode they talk about how it controls the speed and how things can only go in at a certain speed and once you're inside of the uh, once you're inside of the bubble 
Like, there is, you can only move at these tiny, these relatively tiny speeds. And you get this wonderful thing where they're getting chased by a Martian cruiser, which, of course, is going just at, like, they're all basically traveling in slow motion, but it's going just enough faster than they are that they're about to, uh... Overtake them. Overtake them, which is nice. Yeah, it's uh, a really I'm glad good they worked scene. that in. Yeah, it's, it's um, very boss. But yeah, so I'm, I'm saying, it has never worked out well trying to do a crazy thing in space to impress a lady. Like, just, that's only going to get you killed. Though, I, I love that reveal, because I think we we are four episodes, because I did, I rewatched three. Okay. So. Uh, no, but, uh, the... we're, we're definitely only three episodes after the thing comes out of Venus. Like, that is, full stop, that is where we are. Because the first episode was showing up, uh, the show, um, Showing up, catching up with everybody. The second episode was the sabotage and the attack on the Rosinante, yeah. and that ended with the torpedo. And the third episode is what I've seen and you haven't yet, which is the episode where they're stuck inside the bubble. Everything is creeping along. Uh, the uh, the the religious lady decides to stay on the ship. We finally get the Mao girl's backstory. And you're oh, like, so what that's is she up revealed. to? Yeah, that's what they reveal. This and I'm like, because I'm watching this thing, and I'm like, what the hell is she up to? Oh, she's just really pissed at him, <laughs> at Holden, for destroying her family. Oh, okay, I get that. Well, all right. So I've invited. I think I've invited you. So yep, you should be I'm able on to my accept way. the invite. All right, good. Then I will. Uh, once you're here, we, I will open the director, and we will go do a uh, a mission. Oh. If I can figure out how to do that. I'm so happy you know about Peaches. Oh, peaches. God, yeah. <laughs> and oh, Amos yeah. was just a pimp all the time. Yeah, um, I gotta say, what I loved was... Uh, what I loved in this episode was... Again, there's always something about Amos we get to... Uh, we get to love, like just truly adore... Mm -hmm. Like, he's always fantastic, but this episode, like, uh, cause he knows they've been, he knows they've been screwed by the report, by the documentarians. That's obviously what happened. Yeah. Right. Cause the, it was brought, the, the fake message was broadcast from their ship. There's no question who's responsible for that. Hey, you know. could it be these weirdos we just left on, got on the ship or this crew I've been traveling with and I've had my eye on? I know. And so it's just like, uh, he, like uh, he will stab them to death if they don't reveal the truth. And uh, and then you get this, uh, he, he threatens to stab them to death, you know, uh, if they don't tell him how to fix the ship. Of course, they don't know how to fix the ship. And then you get this beautiful moment where it's like, is he going to blow them out into space? Because he might blow them out into space. But like, No, he just figures he can send them to talk to the, the Martians and explain that they were responsible for creating a fake message. And maybe they'll believe it, maybe they won't. But I, I just like that with the character of Amos, for a moment there you think, he might actually be ready to blow these people out into space. Oh no, he, he, that's a thing? Yeah. He could do it and sleep like a baby. <laughs> oh god, we love him so much. And we got, um, the, the show is rife with uh um beautiful character moments like in these three episodes but by far my favorite was him referring to the botanist as his best friend in the world yeah I'm like oh that's so sad well can <laughs> i i'll doing? give you a little spoiler okay please we don't see prax again prax I, I didn't gone. think we would but that's just that's so sad Mm -hmm. listening to him refer to that well, look at you. like i just uh, i want things to go well for you amos but it's just because everything happening. else has gone bad exactly you know like it, everything has gone terribly for you i just i want you to get one good thing in your life and it's just like your best friend in the world a, a guy from a boat, but it's like seriously, he he does only have people he work with, uh, worked with, works with, I guess, and it made me feel so sad for him, which is what they're going for. It's it's pretty brilliant, honestly. But yeah, great moments from him. It's like, like it's like, yeah, you can't seduce Amos. What are you thinking? I'm like, I like how everyone tries. Yeah, and he's they like, trying. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, uh, 
I'm sure there's a brothel wherever we're going. Is is his is his uh, yeah. is his, the way he looks at the world. You really have to respect that. Oh god! All right, so now I return to orbit, and we can go to Earth. We can go to Earth, everybody. We're finally going to Earth. Uh, but yeah, I I kind of um, I love that about him. There's a that's a beautiful scene he gets. To, uh, <laughs> that's a beautiful scene he gets, and honestly. Like every part of that episode, uh, of that first episode, is so great at pulling you back. Like finding out that they're currently involved in a legal dispute as to the ownership over of the their ship. ship. Yeah, yeah, and it's like they're like they quite re- reasonably say, "Well, all the Martians uh, from the Donager We're are dead. dead." You know, like literally, there was no crew left. Ergo, it's salvage. And I'm like, you know what? I think they have a strong legal argument there. In the books, it actually states that um, what the Martians are trying to do is essentially wear them down. Yeah, of course. Just like uh, years Just with and years, legal and years fees. of legal fees. And like having, making their repre- I assume making their representatives show up for hearings and blah 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 and they figure eventually they'll give up and have to give the ship back and it's like come on and, and I was about to say come on they they save the world you're going to make them give the ship back and they're like of course they are they're a government they want their property yeah <laughs> they're not only a government they're a rather collectivist government oh yeah but they they're a government but the fact is it's like they only value metal you know, they turn people into metal. Save like the they, metal, not the meat. Exactly. Like, and oh, it was nice to see to check in with Bobby, but I'm sad we're not, you know, seeing Bobby anymore. Like, Don't worry. I guess she had to. I know. I mean, I figure we'll see her again, but it's like, and I know she had to go back to Mars because that's who she is. But at the same time, it's like, I so enjoyed her hanging out with a Vasrala. Like that was such a good pairing. Yeah, but uh, maybe we'll see more of that. Don't spoil anything. Don't you dare! Um, spoil I will anything. give you a minor spoiler that okay. yes, you will see lots more of Arisvala and Bobby. Okay, Whew. and Peaches. <laughs> well, I can't wait. So, how does it work if we're co-oping? Because you're here with me, right? Yep. All right. So you're level twenty, and you have two hundred averaged out power level. I'm level 1, and I have 12 averaged out power level. Like, so when I shoot guys, are they level... Like, I'm shooting guys who are all level 1. What mm-hmm. level are the guys you're looking at? Are they also level 1, or when you I shoot them, they're I think it scales the damage. Okay, so... But does it scale their hit points? What I'm saying is, is it scaling it... Like, when you look at an enemy, what is the number that appears over his head? I don't is get it, a is number. It a want? Oh, you don't get a number? You know what? I thought that was a number, but it's really just... I thought it was the number one, because I'm That's level one. weird symbol. But it's a dagger. It's a dagger saying they're part of the Red Order, or whatever it is. So, yeah. That's that's my bad. I, I assumed that was something that it wasn't. But, yeah. So, they've scaled... They've evened out our damage. So, we're just doing the same amount of damage. And your only advantage is the skills you have, right? Essentially. And, yeah, okay. All right. And that that's fine. So, that's a good um, way to handle vastly different leveling. Do you want to do a patrol? Sure. Here. I don't know what a patrol is, but I'd like to try. Hold Unless on. that's something from the previous uh, game that I've forgotten. Which it very well could be. Eh. No, it's like a minor randomly generated procedural Oh, yeah, request. like when, when, yeah, when the procedural requests would show up and it'd be like, go to this area here and a drop a full of uh, scarab guys are going to show up. Kill all the scarab guys that drop down. That yeah, kind of stuff thing. like that. Okay, yeah, no, I've, I've done those in the first game. I'm absolutely down to do them here. Uh, um, I just don't want to do one of those missions where you sit by a shield generator, like, waiting for the shield to power up. Yeah, and fighting just... waves of dudes. If I could not do that, that would be great. Alright, well, um, I'm happy <laughs> milling about here. Alright, so um, where, do we find, where do we find missions? Uh, okay, actually, how about this? I'll take you to a lost sector so you can get some decent gear. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So, Are come on flying? over to the church. I feel like you were flying. That's because I was flying. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> is that, is a, that a warlock caller. thing? I'm guessing that's a... Yeah, okay, that's a warlock thing. All right, that's fine. It might be a you thing, but... 
<laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. I don't know you. All right. Yeah, Where we'll see what I powers see I end up mark. with. Oh, laser okay. rifles. All right. Back over here. Here I come. All right. Ah, uh, there we go. There you are. Oh, hey, it's a tunnel. Nice. Yeah, and that's where we're going. Oh, cool. I smoked an HVT, so... Nice. So I, I should some go plunder. and grab some plunder from it? Yes. And that we each have individual plunder, right? Like, we're yes. not splitting plunder? Nice. Ooh, I've got a token. An EDZ token. Hey, I wonder if this game has eight, eight different currencies you have to worry about. Sorry, I just... I hate it when games have You're eight so different bitter. currencies. <laughs> well, I hate it. So many games have, like, there's eight different currencies to muddle through. Oh, okay. Thanks. You know, they have this thing called Space Bucks. If we could just stick, stick to Space Bucks, that would be great. Well, the fact of the matter is, the actual currency in the game is raw matter that you can easily turn into something you want. Yeah. Is that is that what the... No, that's Engrams. That's what Glimmer oh, is. Engrams are plans, and that's what the Glimmer is. Right, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Okay, there's a guy over there called Ubiquitous, and so I'm actually pretty psyched about that guy. Yep, where you is. Uh, oh, there I, you is. Yeah, no, I, I'm right over here. I thought because you're constantly be becoming here. invisible. What? Yep. Constantly becoming invisible. I think it's one of your powers as a hunter. Oh, okay, cool. I had no idea. Wow, I am good at missing this guy. Oh, that's right. It may be the future, but our guns still have magazines. Uh, oh, hey, I found a... I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh, that's explosive. Don't, don't shoot don't, that. Don't do not shoot that. Okay. Uh, so that, that giant mark over it means explosive. Gotcha. Yes. What about that red barrel over there? Also explosive. Also explosive. Makes sense. Oh, nice. I gotta say, that was not the kind of impressive explosion I was expecting from a thing that size. I don't want to. I don't want to say that's a complaint, but you know, I was expecting some kind of thing. You feel slightly robbed. Borderline apocalyptic. All right, so he's got a blue shield. So I take out my energy weapon, and I shoot him with it. Oh, now okay. You, shock you've already gotten some. this taken care of. Champions cash requires champions cache co uh, code. What? Yep. Don't worry. I just picked it up. So. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to kill the dude who has it. I understand. Yep. Okay. In the area, there'll be a dude who has the code and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I I understand the logic of this world, kind of. Do you have some kind of a particle rifle? Yes. Okay, well, that's pretty badass. I'm not going not gonna to lie. That is And it, it's badass. my energy weapon, so it just mangle shields. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, I get a particle rifle is better than a, a pulse rifle for that kind of thing. Totally get it. And whenever I want to, I can load up an energy staff. So that's going to be cool. But yeah, uh, getting back to the show, though. Uh, yeah, the uh, the evil Mao sister. It's, it's First off, it's great to see Jules Pierre again. But uh, she murders a guy, uh, you know, to, to cover up her plan. That was so sad. I know. It really was. Did they it explain was... what she, what that clicking noise is? No, they didn't. I just like uh, because we've been established that there are various. Because uh, she's doing the. Uh, oh, hey, got a new ability. Nice. Uh, okay, what is my new ability? It is arc staff. Okay, skip grenade, marksman's dodge, arc strider, flux grenade. Nice. Oh, cool! I've got a sticky grenade. Cool. That's a very cool grenade. I love uh, sticky grenades. But anyway, so you get the scene where she, of course, takes a drug and... Uh, oh. It's not... She She isn't taking a drug. Okay, she's not taking a drug. She's doing something to switch herself over, and it's not clear 100% what. I can explain it if you want. I would love to have it explained, because, I mean, in the same way that they never explained the drugs in the... Uh, uh, previous episodes of the show. Ooh, grenade launcher, nice. Uh, they didn't explain this one, so I would be interested to hear what is the clicking, how does she power up? Okay, so she had a gland inserted into the roof of her mouth Okay. that she could I, trigger. Uh, weirdly, I was assuming, uh, that does make sense, because I was assuming she had like a, uh, a hollow tooth drug she was using. Uh, but, no, it's uh, a gland, so it, okay, it naturally gland. produces... Like, 
crazy essentially amounts a of calm, adrenaline or yep adrenaline testosterone it's berserk eyed essentially wow oh that's cool yeah so like it it's not going to be picked up on metal detectors and you saw the way she just manhandled that dude oh yeah absolutely and it completely and of course it also wrecks her because how could it not because <laughs> yeah it's super stressful on your body oh yeah and this imagine. comes up later on in the books Ah, okay. Um, Way to go. But yeah. That's very cool. Uh, but again, this game is absolutely... Uh, this game. The show is absolutely loaded with those kinds of concepts. Yep. Um, once, I'm excited, personally, for season five-ish. Okay, why? Um, because she's back. Oh... Yeah, she hasn't left yet, and I'm wondering, are they going to kill her off? Because it doesn't seem like they should, because this is a really, you know... Do you want to know? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that's sad. Apparently I'm out of power ammo already. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, no, she's, she's an interesting character. S stuff is clearly going to go down with her, and fast. So I can't wait to see where it's going. Because, honestly, I can't wait to see where everything's going in this show... This show has the best storylines. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen when they get to that nucleus, but I am very excited to find out. And hey! Uh, Tom Jane's back! We didn't even talk about that! Tom Jane's yeah. back! And uh, I kind of knew he would be, just because, you know, they were going to the, the thing that was built... No, I did not. I do not. I do not watch the credits for that reason. So I can be surprised. Uh, no, because they were going to a giant space ring that was built with his and Julie's consciousnesses. So obviously he's going to be back. Like, just common sense. You know, I, I understand structure. So uh, I was very happy to see him back, though. Especially, when they do this really nice thing, which you'll see when you watch episode 9. Uh, which is, of course, he's just completely fractured when, they, uh, when he first starts talking to Holden. No, but no, then I saw that, once where they're he's inside, just but sort once of like... Yeah, but what they do is, once they're inside the bubble, and I'm sure you know this, he's able to talk in complete sentences and be much clearer, because... Not co he, he was always speaking complete sentences, they just yeah. didn't make any sense. He didn't make any <laughs> sense, but yeah. He gets far more coherent. Uh, uh, just over here, there. by the way. I will come and find it. Wow, I'm. there's a lot of dudes with multiple arms. Thanks for shooting those guys for me. So where's the chest? Right where I'm standing. Oh, that's that's it back there. Nice. Ooh, more EDZ tokens that I can spend to do something. A high For value reputation. target has dropped its plunder. Woo! Yeah, that's right outside. Where's this plunder? Nice. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing that, other player who I don't know. Wow, people always are just got a free things. load, right? Oh no, absolutely. I'm not I'm not complaining. I like some free stuff as much as the next guy. Maybe more. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not complaining about the quarter staff. Don't get me wrong. It's just I kind of miss my awesome magic gun. Like uh, my my special attack used to be a golden pistol that shot fire, and the electric quarter staff is a bit of a step down from that. I think. All right. Uh, the the grunts from Halo Two showed up. Yep. Seriously, All right, so they, do you want to go and do not a be, strike? Uh, yeah, let's go do a let's go do a strike or whatever that is. Um, we can do a strike, which is a low level raid. Okay. Or we can do um, patrols. Oh, let's go oh. do a strike. It's fine. All right, I'm so you're gonna have to, to put a, bring us into that because right. you're the. Do you, do you know where it is? Fire team leader. Yeah, it's gonna be on the map. Okay, I'll just load up the map, which I totally know how to do. The just director that out there. Yeah. All right, map. All right, so Direct. Red War campaign, Trossland landing zone, Devon Cray. Okay, we've got a. Oh, we've got a campaign mission. Let's do a campaign mission. Sure. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, I will just track that campaign mission and we'll go straight for it. Oh, it was in the church. It was in the church this whole time. All right, now I feel a little silly. It was Earth all along. <laughs> oh, it was. All right. Which, you know, I, I don't want to be a, a dick about this. Oh, hey, I've got a new shell for my ghost. Nice. Thanks. All right, so do I have to listen to him talk, or do I? 
Yay, my reputation went up, whatever the hell that means. Well, it lets you buy things, and you, every time you level it up, you get shit. Oh, so. okay, there you go. Alright. Adventure, alright, adventure beacon location. So now I, I do adventure. Uh, recommended power plus 30. Yeah, I don't have that, but you do, so I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. Right. So, Let's yeah, start I, adventure. I'm excited about yeah. having, um, what's her face? About Peaches. Because Peaches yeah. is actually a really complex character. Uh, well, I would hope that she's, she's killing people, she's being awesome, but she's obviously not at all psyched about what she's doing. And, uh... I gotta say, the, 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 we get some flashbacks to her and Julie, and uh, her dad always siding with Julie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, her, her terrible, the ordeal she goes through that, like, uh, she always does what her dad wants, and that doesn't make her dad respect or love her more. He'll always side with the sister who's, you know, awful to him all the time, because he respects her going out there and... Uh, yeah, making up. it all for herself, like uh, doing her own thing and standing by her beliefs. Oh, poor Peaches. I feel so sorry for her. And hey, I didn't even give her that name, by the way. No? Nope. Who does? Guess. I, I, you know I can't. It's Amos. <laughs> really? He's the, he, he's the per you'll note he has a habit of calling people by really odd names. That's true. Because remember, he calls... Oh, there's dust light over here, by the way. I don't um, know what that is, but I'll. It's a reputation it. boost. Ooh, that sounds fun. So, yeah, it's right over here. I will um, come over to there. But, yeah, remember, he calls Arisvala Chrissy to oh, her face. right. And survives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, so we've got to go find a Legion chest. Yeah, Not a re sorry, a Region chest. All right, so where is that? Did you open this chest here, the uh, loot box I found? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, just making sure. All right, so where's my map? All right, so we're... Our goal... I'm here, the green thing. And said loot region chest is the mission we're supposed to do. But there's not like an... In oh, there it is. There's the indicator. Okay, I couldn't find the map indicator. That's on me. You just have to oh, tap yeah. your ghost to make it appear. He's now... Ah! It's a guy with four arms! Luckily, he's not bulletproof, it turns out. But yeah, uh, she's she's great. There's clearly a lot going on with the character. I want to find out more, but... Yeah, all of her backstory stuff is just so sad. It's, yeah, it's heart-rending. Yeah, like you really do feel terrible for her. You know? Ooh, a symbol on the wall of the church, you say. Nice. Uh, how come I wasn't able to open this chest? Do I have to go and find a key no, for it inside work. the church? No. no the, the... Oh, no, no. That that gold chest there didn't open, and there was uh, I didn't get to get anything inside of it. Uh, okay, so we found the wall of the church yes. symbol. Where did this symbol come from? Way to go, plot. But yeah, she's got great stories. You feel terrible, and I gotta say... Because uh, I'm like, does she have a master plan, or is she just kind of winging it and hasn't thought this stuff through? Seriously, the only person without a heartrending backstory, yeah, is Holden. He's just a baby <laughs> back bitch. <laughs> Ouch! It's true though. I know it's funny because it's like I'm like, does she have a master plan? Is she working for somebody? And then you watch it, then you get to episode three, uh, and, she, and you realize season. she's got. She's just no like, clue what she's doing. She's just winging it. And I kind of love that about her. Because seriously, like, there's a scene in episode three where she's, like, going through all of the personal stuff of the guy she killed, who yep. everyone thinks just blew up with the ship while he was napping, which is quite a reasonable thing to assume. Yep. Uh, which, so she got away with that one quite effectively. Uh, but it but wasn't anyway, deliberate. It was, no, it was more it accidental. It was just good luck on her part. But what I loved is, so she's going through the, and she's feeling super guilty about his, you know, wife and son. And so there's this whole, this ridiculous scene where it's like, uh, she realizes she might be getting killed out here. Like she might probably won't make it back alive. 
mm-hmm. is what she's thinking. So she goes to the uh, she goes to the the um, the duffel bag being sent back to the family of the guy she killed, and she's like, uh, uh, starts sending a message, and you think, oh, it's going to be a message to try and make right without confessing. It's like, uh, uh, you know, I knew and worked with the, your dad. He was a great guy. Blah 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 blah. And then she's, and then she complete. So she starts the message that way, and then the message becomes, uh, "BTW, I'm Jules Pierre Mao's daughter, and I've, d- and I've done everything I did to get revenge on James Holden." So because you know, so pass that dick. along, pass along that message to my war criminal father, please. Ten year old child of the man I killed. Yeah, I know it's fucked. <laughs> oh my god, you're terrible at this. And I kind of love that you're terrible at this. Oh man, but yeah, I just she's just going for it, and you gotta respect that. You really do. You gotta respect now, how she's like, sort of put yeah. it in the work. Yeah, she is. She's just she's just flailing in all directions, and I guess we're gonna see what happens. So you gotta come up here and uh, get some of the sweet sweet loot. Oh, there's loot. Yep. Nice. I love. Lo- oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Sweet. I will seize that reward. At least it's a cape, Hunter Cloak. Cloak. Sorry, I, I, here's the thing, Bungie. I, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. You a jerk don't want to be this, that guy. But come on, you, you gotta do. Like all of the weapon names are ridiculous. In fact, the names of everything are ridiculous. Like back in Halo, right? Back in Halo, the first time I saw a thing. Uh, and the ship, uh, a ship, and the ship was called um, Pillar of Autumn. I'm like, oof, that's just bad. And like the names only got ridicul- more ridiculous. Uh, from I there. think you forgot the ship before that, the In Amber Clad. <laughs> what about the Forward Unto Dawn? Yeah, like, come on, like, guys. Like, no, you know what that is though. I think it's a what? deliberate callback to like 50s, 60s science fiction, like. Yeah. Do you remember when is. Traveler came out? It was like Okay, yes, this, yes, yes. You know, this ridiculous um cardboard war game. Yep. Yeah, that's the, what it makes me think it's of. It's that because... kind of feeling. Yeah, 70s sci fi or sixties and seventies sci fi. Just weird sci fi. With expansions like the Azanti High Lightning. Which I own. <laughs> I, I okay. that was one of the first. That's pretty badass. <laughs> that was one of the first major war games I owned. Okay. So it was your uh, your entryway into this world. It's that has directly at fault. You. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas mine was Car Wars, and I will never understand how they can't get off their ass and make a decent Car Wars video game. They can't even try. They haven't what done is that, wrong with you? They haven't done that with Traveler, and it's just so easy. Yeah, Traveler was always great, because I played the Mega Traveler uh, video games when oh, they were they out did? on PC. Oh, yeah, no, there were Mega Traveler video games in the early 90s, and I played them, and they were good. Like, they were hmm. good, um, like, I think SSI made them, you know, the people who make Dungeons and Dragons games. Oh, make Dungeons yeah. And Dragons back in the day. Yeah, this is way back in the day. And, uh, yeah, they, I think it was also SSI. I could be wrong, which is Strategic Simulations Incorporated, I want to say. That is, yeah. Yeah, I think, wow, that guy's invisible. Cool. Oh, there's a chest over here. I need, like, a shotgun or something, because um, the power weapon I'm using is a silenced pistol, which, you know, sounds great, but it does almost no damage and doesn't fire quickly, so it's it's not for the best right now. But yeah, um... They made Traveler, but that was way back. And I just don't know if it's a brand. Like, Battletech has enough fans that you can get this big group behind Kickstartering it the way you could with um, Shadowrun as well. I don't know if Traveler has the same visibility. I, I, I can tell you right now it doesn't. Yeah. Which is too bad, because you're right that setting-wise, it's something that's so easy to turn into an awesome video game. And it can be, there's a number, like, you could make an action, you know, space flight game in that world. You can make an RPG in that world. You can make a strategy combat game in that world. Like, it's a great setting to adapt, but just no one's going to put in that effort, which sucks. 
No one's going to put in the work. Finding ammo. Yeah, which is too bad. And uh, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that if uh, what do you call it? Oh, hey, it's one of those exploding pallets. Nice. This time I'm going to shoot it after stepping far away. Wow, there's a lot of climb on this pistol I'm using. Uh, oh, there was nothing behind it. Well, that felt... That was a waste of bullets. And I don't have that many bullets. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm still hoping that with the success of Battletech, they do Crimson Skies next. Uh, and just because, you know, I'm a big fan of Crimson Skies. Definitely. And uh, Crimson Skies is historically one of the best franchises in video games. I, I never played the uh, the board game version, but, you know, I, it seemed fun. I've just, you know, I, you know me, I've never been a, a huge board game person. Because yeah. that requires you to be around other people, which has never been my strong suit. It's not, it's not something you're down with. No, absolutely. Do you want to come down here with me? I've got a, a guy with a giant uh, gold health bar and a... Uh, a shield, a blue shield, and I only have a grenade launcher, which is not the best thing to use. Okay, let, let me let me handle this. If you could just go and clear that guy out for me. Just to the right, down that... Yeah, just go to the right. That would be fantastic. Over here? Yeah, he's, he's oh, yeah. right through there. What the hell gun are you using? Assault uh, rifle with one of those drum a, um, things? It's a reward. Oh! Did you complete something, or...? Yeah, it's a reputation reward for, um, this region. Oh, cool! Nice! Now, what are these orbs of light I'm up... generating? Um, they can be used for me to, um, power up my specials. Oh, cool! Wow, I hate this guy. Like, I hit him six times... No, probably not six, but... I hit him at least four times with my, uh... Um quarter staff of electricity and he just kept going the fuck out of here it, is he dead did he drop something good or yeah right nice. over here oh it's over there thank you so orbs of light power up specials okay see this is a new information i'm getting oh yeah there it is nice i got myself a cadenza 11 and a sea scorpion one sir a cadenza i feel like that's a piece of furniture uh you're thinking of credenza Cadenza is, I think, a musical term? I could be wrong. But uh, I think it's a musical term. Oh, seriously, though. So, yeah, um, I think... Oh, uh, to, uh, to, put, to put a fine point on it, though, I was very, you know, anxious about where it was going to go. Like, I had really no worry that the show was going to disappoint me because... The show's, if the show has a problem, it's that it is, I mean, structurally too faithful to the books in that they do these half season that, and this is what I talked about last time, if this third season had been the final season, right, I know they would have left us in a ridiculous cliffhanger because we would have only been a third of the way through the new book, mm -hmm. meaning I would have to go and read the books to find out what happened. Right, but, which is something so was, I recommend you do anyway. Oh no, anyway, yeah, but I, I'm going to do it after I've seen more of the show because you know it, it, I don't want to have the show spoiled for me. Uh, it That's wasn't fair. until uh, <laughs> it wasn't until I got to Game of Thrones season three. I'm like, oh well, I'm not waiting to see how this turns out. Well, that's a thing. After Expand season one, which, as I recall, it took me over eight months to get you to watch. I know. I'm not. I'm not saying I rushed into this in a timely fashion. But yeah, like. But by that time, I had already devoured all of, all the, books of the books yeah. and all of the novellas. Okay. Well, and honestly, we might. I, I we're gonna see how frustrated I get waiting for season four. I might start reading the books just because I can't wait. Uh, that's happened before. It happened with Game of Thrones. So, and now I'm a Game of Thrones book person who has Game of Thrones book theories. So you know. I, I seriously think happen. that George R. R. Martin is. Um basically a retired serial killer given the content of his books <laughs> honestly there's, like there's it's... far too much incest bestiality and torture porn for me to be like yeah you're a normal dude dude like well yeah, no and i think you, the you interesting might look like thing. a kindly grandpa now but ooh, during yeah. the 70s i think you killed like 80 backpackers <laughs> well, 
bunch of people. Well, it's interesting because what I found about uh, after reading the books, I really did find that uh, how the show is so much more unpleasant than the books are. Like, the books just, they don't dwell on awful things the way the show does. There's so much less uh, rape and torture and murder in the books than in the show. Which is weird, but because it's not like it's set in a different world, but all of that stuff is on off-camera. Whereas in the show, they're like, let's luxuriate in the awfulness. Let, let's right. luxuriate. I did it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. I, I need to get screenshots of this. Uh, you're not going to see this till later. I have angled myself near a, uh, a hard light source to the point where my gun is casting a shadow on itself. Smooth. You go, shadow system. You go. Yep, my gun is casting... My gun's barrel is casting a shadow on onto the... Onto itself. Uh, <laughs> onto the, the, uh, like the, the back part and butt of the gun. The central part and butt of the gun. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, the um the I'm using this uh semi-auto sniper rifle that's got a uh a mounting rail on top and one of those rounded top parts of the gun like an SVD. Mm -hmm. So uh it's got it's got a uh, a barrel and the best part is the uh the barrel like it, it's it's got this long silencer on it so you can totally see it in the shadow. <laughs> Uh, God bless you, technology. But anyway, so yeah, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, I've I've stopped watching the show because it's too awful. But I still stand by the books, and I hope that someday they get finished. Although I have no confidence they ever will. Honestly, I feel like even the books are too awful. And, and remember, I'm a healthcare professional of some description, oh, no, of course, yeah. and I see real world versions of this. <laughs> yeah, and I'm still like, no, nah, this this isn't for me. <laughs> No, I mean, everybody's got to draw the line somewhere. And I get that. And I got to say, but the thing that ha makes me most happy is finding out that there's that fourth season coming. Just lets me know that, you know what? They got me. No matter how bad that they've got my back, no matter how much of a cliffhanger this season ends on. And it's going to be a bad one. We can already tell that. Yeah, uh, I know it's going to be sure. rough. I can I can tell that just based on the fact that they're going into this frigging maybe warp gate. Uh, I, I know it's going to be torturous where they leave it, and I can't wait until it gets until it gets there. So my question is, and this is going to be... So you said we're in book three now, correct? Give or take. We're uh, in rough, we're early We're somewhere book inside book three. Okay. We're some, yeah, because, yeah, right, you told me that the thing coming off of Venus is the natural ending point of, like, book two. Uh, wrapping up the um, the prototype storyline and get having the the ship butt off of Venus is just a logical place for a book to end. Mm -hmm. So we're we're early in book three. Yeah. And I'm just gonna ask a question, and you don't have if you think it's too much of a spoiler, don't tell me. Okay. Yeah. But you've already given me enough to let me know this is coming. How many books before the plot goes generational and we swap out main characters? Um. We're not there yet. No, but how many... Oh, in the books, we're not there yet? No, we're, we're just at that point, though. We are... Oh, okay. Like, in the latest book, all the characters are, like, old. <laughs> They're geriatrics. Okay. Even drummer right. is geriatric. Okay, well, don't tell me any more, then, because I don't want to know who survives. But there we go. All right, so... Well, you that... already know for sure that Peaches and Amos survive. Oh, yeah, no, obviously. Uh, they're survivors. Uh, but anyway. One could right, say that's so, their biggest trait. It is. I think that's fair. Uh, but yeah, it's... Um, so, and what book are we on? Book six? Book seven? Seven. Book five? Seven, okay. So I was going to ask, have you read... Seven books worth of content. Nice. Have you read any of the novellas yet? No, I went and I bought them, but I haven't read them yet. You need to read them. I'm going to, yeah. You I'm should gonna read... specifically read them in order. Okay. Because well, no, I actually went to a website and got a reading order. Thank you for the uh, for the series, so I don't do it wrong. I thought that was I thought that was a smart choice. It is because, um, some of them aren't don't make sense with Unless... where you are in the series right now. For instance, okay. um, Gods of Risk would make zero sense. None. 
for where I am. Okay, well, no, and I, I'm going to make sure I don't get ahead of the TV show until I'm ready to read the books. So there we go. All right. So do you have a quiz for people? I'm going to give an Expanse quiz. Oh, I love those because we're watching the Expanse. But it'd be good if you prepped a uh, Traveler's quiz for next week. If you want, I can do a Traveler's no, quiz No, 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 no. We didn't, we but, didn't uh, talk Traveler's this week, so you're not doing a Traveler's quiz. All right, Expanse quiz. Hit him. Okay. Boom. Name. What does Amos buy when he's leaving Earth for the second time? Okay, this is, this is, I got no idea what you're talking about, so I'm very <laughs> excited to find out what the answer to this one is. If you go and read, actually, no, that's not till Babylon's Ashes. No, you're going to, you got to wait a while. I got a ways to go for that one. Okay. But you so, still need to read Amos's backstory and it'll, it'll to break their heart. The significance of it. Well, no, that's obviously coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh i guess we're gonna call it there the next time here on the show we're gonna be playing m maybe more of this or if the vietnam pack in um far cry 5 has dropped by then we might it's be actually dropped right that. now oh it's already dropped yes all right well we'll be playing more destiny 2 or we'll be doing we'll be co-oping the story on uh the vietnam missions in far cry 5 and have you played it yet, or can we do it the first time together for the stream? We can put it, we can do it the first time together, together but, for the show. Okay. Um, I've got bad news. Oh no! I heard it's mostly stealth, and you've seen how good I am at stealth. <laughs> well, if we have to restart a lot, we have to restart a lot. <laughs> yes. All right. No, but that'll be uh, that'll be fun. We're doing the uh, the Viet Conging the Viet Cong mission. It, uh, it should be entertaining. So join us back here for that. If you want to watch what we're wa talking about next time, we're going to be talking about The Expanse episode 310 and Travelers 201 to 203. So uh, those are going to be the shows we're talking about next time as we play the Far Cry expansion. So uh, be back here for that. Uh, until then, is there something you want people to buy or watch? Well, aside from the battled techs <laughs> <laughs> that you're always trying to pitch i'm always like here's I the thing it. if you're a strategy player you should own battle tech if you're a role-playing game enthusiast you should have shadow run oh absolutely. there's just no two ways about it and for me i'm going to suggest people ch he's stabbing my corpse what is wrong with this guy you made them real mad. Yeah, you can come here and rescue me because they're all just shooting at the glowing ball that I'm going to resurrect out of. Because they're not very bright. I'm preoccupied at the moment. That's fine. Um, I see you're so hanging out with well a bunch of 20 and 30 people. Yeah, yeah I'll just respawn. All right, that's fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, and I, for my part, am going to recommend a little game called Vampire, which I cannot get enough of. Uh, you mean vampire? Right. Yes, a vom a vampire. Uh, all right, no, we went into too oh, high a level thing, and more, all of the more. guys are immune to my guns. <laughs> well, that explains why I got killed so fast. Oh, one Banner more suggestion. Saga. Okay. Oh yeah, Banner Saga Three is coming out, isn't it? Yes, it's the perfect time for people you to, to jump catch in up. and get caught up before the third one comes out. Yeah, no, Banner Saga, the first one is boss as hell. I haven't played the second one, but I can only assume it just got better. It is just as good. Alright, so we will see you back here for Expanse 310 and uh, Travelers 201 to 203. Uh, but until then, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. And I've been the Gun Wrangler. See you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.